Hey there, this is Fernando coming to you from just outside of Melbourne, Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. Today's message, uh, <clears throat> why we have a comfort zone and uh, how we can break free from it. Now, um, you, a comfort zone is a term that most people probably associate with personal development. You always hear that, uh, you know, we have a comfort zone, everything you want is on the other side of your comfort zone. Uh, you have to break free from your comfort zone. <clears throat> but what you may not realize is the comfort zone actually is a very real thing. It's, it's the brain's tendency to keep you safe. It's actually called a homeostatic impulse. There you go, homeostasis, homeostatic impulse, which is your brain's tendency to keep you safe. And the whole reason why we have a comfort zone is to, to do with just that, to keep us safe. So everything that you, <clears throat> that you have in your life right now is because it hasn't yet killed you, right? Um, so whether you're carrying excess weight, whether you're at a certain job, whether you're earning income at a certain level, whatever it is, if you look at every result you're producing in your life, it is the result of your comfort zone, okay? And I remember a few years back, Bob Proctor, um, he tells a story about how our mind is, uh, or our comfort zone is like a prison, okay? Now, the difference between this mental prison and any other prison is that most people that are in prison can't get out. And yet, with this mental prison called comfort zone, you actually have the key to get out. Most people just don't, uh, don't know how to do that, right? And so, I wanted to just, number one, just share with you what it actually means, why we have it, and then how you can actually start to make headway towards breaking free from a comfort zone if, if, the, if the results that you are producing is not what you want. And so how do you do that? Well, <clears throat> what happens when I coach people typically as they get excited on this new journey and trying to build a business online, they're super excited. So what they say to me is I'm going to take massive action. I'm going to go for three, four hours a day to grow my business. Now, think how that's going to sit with your brain, okay, when your brain's used to not, not even doing that, right? It's probably not going to last very long. So that's actually probably not the best approach. What's a better approach or what a better approach is, it's actually starting to take very small steps towards where you want to go. And why you want to take small steps is because um, you're going to be able to develop a habit and build that momentum that's going to help you start to make real headway towards where you want to go. The problem is that if you're in the network marketing industry, the pressure that you get from the industry, from maybe your upline, the people around you, is that you gotta go and produce results, you gotta get results, you know, you gotta go hard, you gotta talk to 100 people, you gotta always be in action. And it's true that you wanna be in action, it just doesn't have to be massive action, it only needs to be consistent daily action. That's what's gonna make the difference. And so what happens is through building that habit, um, how we got our comfort zone in the first place is through constant space repetition about some things that we did that caused us to be safe. We now just have to choose different. Now, where you got, how you got to this point, a lot of it doesn't have to do with you making mental choices because a lot of that is programming and if you've been following with me, you'll know that, right? It's all our paradigms, our habits, our massive habits, which we call conditioning, which cause us to behave and act and attract the things that we attract in our life. Um, but we're not two years old anymore, we're not five years old anymore, you know, we're adults. And so now, we, with newfound awareness, we can make new choices. And so it usually starts with finding out what it is exactly that you do want, and then slowly start to uh, put out what we call a daily method of operation in place that's going to help you, excuse me, start to make headway towards, towards that goal, towards that new result that you want to produce. And so start by making a new choice, start by realizing that you have got the power to, uh, to change, you have got the key to this mental prison. Um, what you have to do is catch yourself every time you are justifying why you are in this state and uh, cancel that out and start to uh, take the little steps that are going to help you make headway because everything you do want is on the other side of your comfort zone. Uh, how do we know that? Because you don't have it now and you are in a comfort zone right now. So. It is a simple message, but it is an important message because most people complain how they're not happy about what they're achieving in their life, but yet they don't actually take the time to uh, stop and think about uh, what it is they actually want and what steps they could take. 
And if you're stuck and you need help in this area, reach out to me in a private message, send me an email, or head over to my blog where you're going to find other resources. Also, you find on my on the page uh, on my page Fernando Loaiza Live. I have a link to our new Facebook group that I've created, which is a connected community of mums, dads, mompreneurs, professionals that are shifting from network marketer to authority leader, uh, authority leader or authority in their niche and tribe leader um, in their in their own business. Right. So if that's where you're heading, if that's where you see yourself, that's the mental vision then join in with me and I'm going to resource you and support you to get in there uh, in the quickest uh, in the quickest time possible as you continue to take those uh, small steps. All right, so uh, I hope to hear from you soon. Leave a comment below. Share this with someone that needs to hear it and let me know your thoughts, all right? Be blessed and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.